So you guys look really comfortable. <sighs> this sets a whole new precedent around here. Antoine is working harder than you guys. You know what? And I'm not even gonna get mad at you because you guys are gonna leave on a mission. I'm all about missions, what's up? You guys are driving up to Carson City and there's a guy up there with a 1970 650 Tiger Triumph, okay? Oh, sweet. Wants 10 grand for it, I'm sure you can pick it up right around eight grand. As long as it runs good, I want it. So, you know what? You guys it's take not gonna run good. How do you know it's not gonna run good? Because it's a Triumph. Don't Triumphs run better than Harleys? No. Yes. The only reason he likes Triumphs is because I like Harleys. No, I liked Triumphs before you were born. I just They're collect... backwards, dude. No, That's they're weird. just different than American bikes because the old Triumphs are backwards. Yeah, they're backwards. So what's the problem? It's weird. Well, you just have to get used to doing it. They're lame. I'm giving you guys a break when I shouldn't be. So, go to Carson City. Bring Antoine with you. If it runs good, just buy it for me, okay? Even Can I ride my Harley? I don't care what you ride, just go up there and get me the motorcycle. Ready for a road trip, Big Hoss? I guess so, you wanna ride bikes? I'm down. Okay, cool. <sighs> Let's get out of here. All right. Hey, how's it going? Corey, well, the bikes are back in the warehouse. Let's yeah. check them out. We do motorcycle frames, we do gas tanks, we do oil tanks, we do handlebars. We got 5,000 different parts we make here in the US. So pretty much, yeah, if you're, if you're building a custom bike, you're gonna at least have a few parts from these guys on it. Well, the bikes are back here, let me show you. We got a couple of nice ones, I think you're gonna really get excited. This is a 1970 Triumph. Oh, that's nice, man. I actually bought this bike in 1999 and sent it to my nephew, and he restored this bike in three years from a pallet of parts to exactly as you see it now. It's actually funny, man. I've never liked Triumphs, but this is uh, kind of tickling me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I have a 1970 Triumph Trophy 650 for sale. It's fully restored. It's really a nice piece. You don't find them this way very often. I'd like to get $10,000 for that. You like this thing? Don't tell anybody. <laughs> but, yeah, but yeah, it's actually really clean. Uh, your nephew did a really good job. I mean, it's just like it left the factory floor. And it runs like a sewing machine. It really, it's, it's kind of a really fun bike to drive. Chum, you got to realize, in the 60s and 70s, these things, hands down, were just a better machine than a Harley was. They were a lot faster. They were heads and tails above Harley in technology. But they've kind of gone in and out of business a bunch of times, right? Yeah, absolutely. I believe it was in the 70s that didn't they run out of stock? I think you're right. Which is basically what made a lot of customers switch to Hondas. Honda was a big, big player in the mid to late 70s. 10 years ago, you couldn't find a Triumph on the streets. They're real collectible, absolutely. We have another one over here. Oh, that trike is sweet. It's as fast as it looks, too. This is what we call our Paco race trike. We built it in 2013 for the show circuit to attract attention and bring people into our booth and so forth. So this one looks like it's meant to go really fast. It's a five speed with a chain drive because it's 125 inches, about 140 horsepower. So this is a pretty special one of a kind bike. What do you want for the trike? I think it's worth every penny of 40,000. You couldn't build it for that, you know? It's a one of a kind piece and you're not gonna find another one anywhere in the world like it. Okay. So what are you looking for on the Triumph? I'd like to get $10,000 for it. I think it's reasonable. Well, I guess we gotta ride them. I'll do the Triumph. I'm kinda scared of this thing, honestly. It looks intimidating. Yeah, you really gotta pay attention when you drive this one, it's really fast. Did you guys bring your helmets? Yes, yes we, we did. did. All right. Yeah, fun. You wanna go grab them? Grab mine too, please. Man, you guys are lazy. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> These bikes both run great, and I know my dad really wants to triumph, but I'm not sure they meet my motorcycle standards. So it all depends if Steve wants to lay off the gas and lower the gap on this price. Left you in the dust, big hoss. This thing looks intimidating, and let me tell you what it is. But well, you feel like a badass driving this thing. Definitely got a style to it. What did you think about the Triumph? You know, uh, I've never ridden a British bike before. It feels like I'm driving on the wrong side of the street. Well, I'm telling you right now, we gotta get this thing right here. We're gonna be dumb if we don't pull back up to the shop with this bad boy. This trike, we'd like to get 40,000. I'm really liking it. But that being said, I think we are gonna end up passing on the trike. 
Um, seems like you guys just got a little bit too much money in it. And it's just gonna be a hard sell at the shop. But what can we really do on the Triumph? We'd like to get $10,000. Would you take six? No, no. I think it's a legit $10,000, $11,000 bike. I'll do eight. I can go to seven. You gotta remember, I buy these to make money on them too. Getting up into eight and nine grand, you know, there's not much there for me to make. 75. Seven. That's the best I could do. I uh, will have to pass. Have to pass? OK. Uh, 75. 75, your dad's going to be mad if you don't come back with that for over $500. Even Antoine knows that. That's right. 72. I think I'm going to hold it 75. Well, maybe next time, my man. I'll be around. Thank Appreciate you, sir. It. Appreciate it. Hey, thanks for the ride, man. Oh, no, my pleasure. Back to the two wheels, I guess. Corey, over $300, you guys are gonna be pissed. What's up, Pop? Hey, what's up? You guys get my motorcycle? No. What happened? Corey wouldn't buy it over $300. The guy was at $7,500 and Corey was stuck at $7,200. Wait, 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 what did I tell you guys to do? Rick, I told him, buy the bike, your dad's gonna be pissed at you. The and bike he... was in perfect condition. You tattletales, man. I, I, honestly, no, it, dude, the deal wasn't right. I didn't tell you to buy it because it was worth it or not. I told you to buy it for me. There was no money to be made on the bike. I did you a favor. No, son, I wanted the bike for myself because what do I ride, guys? Triumphs. So I basically paid for you guys to have a vacation? Not you guys. I argued to bring the bike home, Rick. I really did. Your son, Corey, decided not to buy the bike over $300. You know what? This is all my fault. I should have never sent you guys. Thanks a lot, Cor. Rick, really, you can send me on another trip. I promise. <laughs>